All right, so our first evening here in Kentucky, got Jeremy Meyer behind the camera tonight. As you can see, I got the old smoke pole TC ready to do work again. And I've had a lot of luck with the muzzleloader this year. We're hoping to keep it rolling. It's gonna be extremely windy. It's a front and everything coming in, but it is high pressure. It was raining last night. We smiling in camo, but we're gonna to try to go make a blood trail. Let's go do it. set up ready to rock with any luck we'll get it done we need a bunch of good luck all we've had is bad luck so bad luck runs out too at some point let's get after it let's see what happens I smashed them. I smashed them. Did I not? It looked good. It looked good. It looked good. I wanted to put it at the base of his neck because of the gun. I love that shot. I absolutely smashed him. Did you see him all hunch up? Yeah. Jeremy. That's the junkyard, junkyard nine, nine, baby. He's down. <laughs> hey, what's that out there? Oh, oh my God. We were sitting in 40 mile an hour wind gusts, bro. And we're just like, it's not gonna happen. It ain't never gonna happen. I'm gonna tell you what, right now, I had a conversation with my wife, man. I shot and missed one yesterday evening. Jeremy, my boy, put me in a stand. She told me, she said, baby, she said, you just got to keep your head down and keep going. She knows my heart. We try to do this, man. Jeremy met you at the NWTF, really. And we've just been running cameras and stuff together and doing it up. And I'm going to try not to get emotional. But our heart and soul is in this, man. We're keeping it as real as we possibly can. And we just got it done. He's a good one, brother. We've been watching him all summer. All summer, man. We put in the work, we put in the work, we put in the work. Hey. If you ain't ate up, please get there. Because this feeling right here, you can't buy, you can't fake. Oh. He's, he's My piled Lord. Up down there. He's piled up down there. He's Let's go while it's daylight. Let's go. All right. Y'all stay tuned for more action with Ate Up With It Outdoors TV. <laughs> Holy smoke! I knew he wouldn't be far. Joe, we walk right by him, bro. Thank you, Jesus. We walk right by him. I told you. I said, yeah, I bet you walked by him last night. Jeremy. <laughs> we walk right by him, bro. I gotta hug you a minute longer, bro. <laughs> Look at that joker. Hold him up, man. Get in there. Hold on a second, man. <laughs> Bro, Hold we walked. Hold on a second, man. Rodney, we walked right here. I, I told and then when I came up, I walked right there. Hold on a second, man. I, I, that's what I told you on the phone this morning. I said, I bet you walked right by him, Joe. Hold on a second. <laughs> What an emotional night, brother. <laughs> Pull it together. Let's get down here on some horns, baby. 
Oh, he's been dead. He was. He, he was dead last night. Yeah. He was dead right after he shot him. We just don't get these opportunities much. <laughs> we got him. What an absolute fantastic buck. But I'm gonna be honest with you, man. The memory made from A to Z on this deer just means so much more, man. I love this ate up life. I love being a hunter. Can't nobody take this away from us. And I promise you, I didn't drive to Kentucky to feed my family either, man. I come up here to hold on to some horns, man. Good and there's man. nothing wrong with that. God is good, man. I'm telling you, y'all see all these tears. I've been preaching to Jeremy and Rodney all morning, man. I'm telling you, he is absolutely 100% just been chiseling away at me, man, with my life with him and just giving me a gut check. Well, I praise him even when I'm not standing over racks, man. Facebook can make you look to be the best person that you possibly can be, but is it being? Are you being real? Are you really who you say you are? What's your identity? And uh, man, I'm not perfect, but I know I love Jesus, and I love deer hunting. Y'all stay tuned for more action with AW Outdoors TV. We walked right past him. He well, didn't. Just because we got more shit to teach you something over that. Getting the deer and everything is good, man, but I'm telling you, dude, getting the deer and everything's good, but what happened last night was more important than anything. You got that right, brother. So, I'm so excited. Man, I love you and I'm excited. I'm, I'm more glad about last night about you learning and growing, and that's the most important thing. You better send me a dang picture, brother. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. I've already run 50 yards, 60 yards. Not even. Not yeah. even. Not even. 40 yards? 40, 40 yards. <laughs> we we split him. He was over yeah. there and I was over here. Yeah, we split him last night when we was coming down through here. And ain't no, is there any blood where he's laying? No, there's nothing. Just what came out of his nose. Just what, yeah. Just literally, basically what come out of his nose when he died. He, he was dead uh, within seconds after well, I shot him. Around. Look at the little bit that came out of the hole. Yeah. yeah. That's oh, exactly what he said, dude. I will, man. I'm so excited, son. I just Congratulations. Had, I just had to call you, man. I'm, I'm so glad. I want a picture now. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, man. Thank you. Love you, too, man. Bye. Bye. The man right there that got me into hunting took me for the first time ever. And uh, if it wasn't for my dad taking me hunting, I wouldn't be standing right here. I would never met Rodney. Literally, I got family up here in Kentucky. We've been saying that for like four years now, man. Y'all seen it on an episode last year when I killed a good buck on your farm. And uh, I just would not even be standing here if it wasn't for my dad taking me hunting. You better get a kid out in the outdoors, man. I'm telling you right now. It don't even have to be a kid. If they've never put on camo, get them in camo so they can smile in camo. It is it's the best thing ever, man. We're smiling big today. It's the best thing ever, boy! <laughs> Ate up.